This may sound too good to be true, but today we're cooking up vegetarian BLTs in the studio with Jamie Sanders of Johnny D's. And Jamie, first of all, we get excited every time you hear, but I was a little jealous last week because you made these, the, the incredible chicken salad, and Abby was over here today. So I said, <laughs> today I'm going to be cooking with you. All right. And, and this is for the vegetarian in your life. You want to eat a little bit healthy. This is a great dish, too. So what are we going to start with? We are going to start by, I made this nice little herbs oil here. It has mm -hmm. a little bit of shallots inside. Yep. It has... Um, fresh thyme, fresh rosemary, salt and pepper. Yeah, it smells good already. Yes, and that has been sitting for like an hour. I made that about an hour ago because I wanted to fuse all the oils. And as you can see, it's simmering already, so I can drop my portobellos right down in here and okay, we're going to grill them up. If somebody wanted to do regular mushrooms, could they do that? Or is there something uh, different about the portobello as the, far as the taste? I feel like the portobello tastes way better than a regular... Uh, mushroom like a white cap mushroom and plus for a sandwich it's a little bit more hearty you can slice bigger chunks especially if you want to lay it across your sandwich right so you know you don't have like pieces of mushroom flying off your sandwich as you take a bite right so and it, I, there's a trick a too bit. guys I've seen a lot of people and I've done this too I've overcooked the mushrooms uh, you know almost you, you cook them too long you want to get them to that nice texture where they're just kind of just at that you want a little tenderness still to them right I, I, I prefer to have the mushrooms a little I, I don't want to say al dente but I guess that's how I that's the best way to describe okay. it for people to understand. Okay, how long are you going to uh, saute those for? Just a couple minutes on each side. And while that's cooking, it's not going to take very long. So we're going to get, I made a little cracked pepper mayo here. Yeah. So we're going to put that on Just both Just regular sides. mayonnaise and, cr and, and cracked pepper? And, yep, okay. Two things that almost everyone has in their fridge. So we're going to make sure we put it on both sides because we want all, you know, every bite to have a little now, bit of mayo. Now you're using ciabatta bread. Is there a trick to the bread too? Could somebody use uh, the, the bread of their choice, sourdough, what you have you? You probably use whatever you want, okay. yeah. Right. I, just, I like ciabatta bread for sandwiches and stuff like that, so that's usually what I do. So the mushrooms are starting to change color a little bit, turn a little bit brown. Right. So that's what you want. Mm -hmm. So they'll be ready in about a minute. Okay. Like I said, I like to leave them a little bit and have a little bit more of a texture to them than cook them down in there too soft. So I'm going to move these over a little bit here. Um, now, I notice you're not using an uh, iceberg lettuce this morning. You're using something different no, there, we, too. No, I'm using arugula okay. um, because I like it better. For, for, the, for the pepper. Yes. Now, some people don't like the uh, arugula. I'm not a big fan of the arugula because it's, uh, sometimes I find it overpowering with the pepper. So it's, uh, I just use, it, use a, just a regular uh, Yeah, I mean, you could use whatever you want. Lettuce. I like to just try different greens and see, you know. I'm, I'm just not into, like, plain old lettuce anymore, so I try to... Uh, try to enhance my palate and try different things here. Now, is this something you cook for your family a lot at the house? This, no. I, uh, I made it yesterday because I was trying to, you know, this is something new I wanted to make. And maybe right. I, I feel like I'm always cooking meat. All right. So I wanted to do something sure. for, you know, the viewers that maybe they don't eat meat. No, we appreciate so, that. Um, as you can see now, some of the mushrooms are starting to soften up here. So we're pretty much almost done and ready to plate here. And you're using Roma tomatoes. We want yes. to let the viewers know that yep. as well. I just wanted to grill these up a little bit just to bring out a little sweetness here. Um, you know, usually, you know, you could use... You try not to crowd the pan too much here, but you can um, either, you know, use, grill them up separately or wait till the tomatoes are, uh, till the mushrooms are done completely, and then... Okay, you keep cooking. Tomatoes. We're going to go to break. Thank you so much for being oh, here again, Oh, thank you for Jenny. having me. Okay, up next, technology and back pain. Find out how you can improve your posture while on your device, but first, these messages.